Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned. This is the fourth episode, uh, continuing to build out our Rails API. We will be jumping in the front end, but we need to go ahead and continue to build out at least some of the back end. In this episode, we'll keep it a little bit shorter. We're going to go ahead, I'm just going to show you this singular gem called Annotate. And it's just a really nice way for us to, well, annotate our models and other resources, but I mostly use it for models to kind of keep awareness of what is on the database. So I'm not constantly checking my schema.rb. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. So the first thing is we're gonna look at this gem file here. And it's in the development group. I've added this annotate models uh, gem. So it's called gem annotate. Go ahead and bundle install it. And then within lib tasks, I've added this rake task, auto annotate models. And it checks if there, so the development environment requires annotate. And then I have a lot of different options here that you could take a look at. If we go glance over, excuse me, let's go glance over here at the library. You can see uh, all of the information about um, the usage within this application, annotating models, routes, um, serializers, this, etc. cetera. Uh, there's a lot of configuration that you can set up. I would recommend uh, looking at the documentation again, as I always do. Um, for me, uh, I already have posted, it. you'll be able to look in the source code in GitHub and right here of what I actually like. I mostly just use it for the models as the main thing. I like to see foreign keys and indices, etc. Um, and we have to uh, annotate some tests uh, and then the, how the format is for the annotation itself. So once you've done that, you can run um, just a DB migrate. And if we jump over to our model user here, you could see now we have this huge block of information at the top. So you could see this is the information that has been provided uh, within our model. So, and in fact, this is actually a little dated because I did not do this after I ran the confirmation stuff. So if we go ahead and run it, you'll see it, it's updated this. And you could see now we have this other unconfirmed, et cetera. So it provides each of the informations as well as the default and whether or not it's null, um, as well as any indices. You can look at our other models here allow us to JWT, for example. So it's a nice way to see that versus checking your schema uh, or checking all of your migrations and trying to figure it out or logging into your database and trying to figure out what's going on. So it's a nice way to see the information within your application. So just wanted to share that gem with you guys. And next up, we're going to go ahead and build access to a given resource as well as a test to do that and how that all works. And that's gonna allow us to start building out the actual application. See you guys next time.